Boom. Boom. That made no sense. It, it did not have to make sense. Welcome back, everybody, to the show. I am your host, as always, Jay Villain, a.k.a. That Villain Jay. And tonight, we have a very special treat for you. Yes, we do. It's going to be my first foray into the Gitrog monster. I have been hearing nothing but good things about Talia and the Gitrog monster. So we're going to get good tonight. Um, We're going to go Abzan Legends. I know Esper Legends has been kind of the main thing that everyone's been running and thinking about. Uh, honestly, not a big fan of Esper. I, I know my, my viewers aren't either. So we're going to try Abzan Legends, which I like a lot more. And it's pretty cool. I've done, I don't think, I don't think I've done an Abzan. I've done an Orzov. So we're going to see if the Gitrog monster is really up to what everyone says it is. But before we do that, uh, I need you to do something for me, which is tenderly press that like button. Gently press that subscribe button. Don't, don't smash it. Because if you do... Or if, rather, if you don't, uh, the like and subscribe will attack you, which is, of course, a YouTube werewolf who will attack you with his vicious werewolf claws. You got to watch out for that. Join us on a stream every night at twitch.tv slash thatvillainj for all the live streaming goodness. We would love to have you there live and in person, 11 p.m. Eastern time every night uh, on Twitch. Check out our Discord community for all the latest news information. You want to hang out, post your decks, get advice. That is the place to be is going to be Discord. Uh, and, of course, this deck and all the other decks that I build are available down below on my Aether Hub. So make sure you check out that Aether Hub link. All those links right down in the description uh, if you want to get as much villainy as possible in your life. So, and don't forget to leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Have you had a good time with the Get Rog Monster or Legends? How, how does your deck look? Tell me what you think. So, when we're talking about Abzan Legends, um, we got to talk about removal. Listen, I, I wish I didn't have to run so much removal in the game but man we're behind the eight ball every time we don't so especially against stuff like uh, mono red that's really coming in aggressive we need cut down because that's the early play that we have against it um destroying a target creature power uh total power and toughness five or less for an instant five is just too valuable i'm also going to go with infernal grasp um and this is one of the few times that I say Soul Transfer is probably not the right choice because that's a double black. The Destroy arc here, you could also possibly want to run some white removal if you want. You could do something like Destroy Evil or Valor Stance or Fateful Absence. Those are perfectly fine. Um, go for the Throat. I'm less inclined now because of the amount of artifacts. It's certainly an option. Um... And the other destroy that I'm going to recommend that I kind of saw as I was going into the game, maybe consider an Invasion of Fiora. We're going to put that in the sideboard. We'll, we'll talk about that in a second. Uh, Talia, we have regular Talia without the Gitrog monster. There's Talia, Guardian of Throbin. This kind of slows down the spell decks because really the only uh, non-creature spells that were in, this is a very creature-heavy deck, which is the kind of deck that I like. Um... Really, the only thing we have is removal. So if we're just all we're running is removal, we don't really need to worry about non-creature spells not being it because we're really going into the ground on this one. So we're kind of helping shut down the heavy spell slinger decks with this one, slowing them down, not shutting them down, slowing them down. One white and one, two one first strike, very nice. We talked about Infernal Grass for removal. Armored Scrap Gorger is not a legend, but the fact that we can put this Mana Rock out, or Mana Dork rather, I prefer calling them all Mana Rocks because he's technically a machine, whatever. Uh, one green and one, zero three. He gets plus three if he has three more oil counters. Removing graveyards, like when they're trying to resurrect a Traxa or Itali, just being able to early eat graveyards, especially because they're discarding or milling, is so valuable in countering the meta right now because so many people are running Resurrector decks, uh, Reanimator decks, and stuff like that. So being able to rip up graveyards, uh, choose cards in the graveyard to rip up, and getting a, uh, one mana of any color is just, I mean, the value of this card has shot up. Uh, I, I'm and the, We can fit it in a green deck, and it's going to give us all the mana flexibility that we need. I love them in there. 
So really consider this one for an uncommon. If you haven't crafted this one, you're really behind on this because this guy is solid. Uh, Ellis Core, Sadistic Villain. Ellis Ilcore, sorry. Uh, one black and one, two, two, death touch, fantastic card. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Whenever another creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. So when you have a wide board of creatures, board wiping becomes a win con and a lose con for your opponent. If you have five or six creatures out and they're down on life and they and they say, well, I'll just board wipe them. I'll just depopulate. They might die, especially when you have multiple copies of this one out, which you could have because of Radadravic of Urborg. We're going to get to that. Uh, so we definitely want her. We're going to gain life as it comes in, remove uh, your opponent's life as it goes out. Just solid card all around. Great early blocker, too, because of that death touch. Giza Sunslayer. You know we got to have a little bit of Glizza action in there. I know I call it Giza, but it's Glizza, a.k.a. the Glizzy Slayer. Uh, one green, one black, and one 3-3 three, three first strike and death touch. Fantastic blocker, fantastic attacker. When you are first strike and death touching, basically you're, you're, you're functionally invincible in combat. Because unless somebody else is first striking you, I don't care if it's a 10-10, you're just going to get that one damage off and ping them out. Uh, and then, of course, it does damage. You, get, you, lose, you draw a card and you lose one life. Destroy up to target enchantment. Extremely useful in the current matter. So get rid of that ossification that they threw down. Or remove three targets from target permanent. Um, that can get rid of uh, counters off of a battle, which we could potentially run, as I said, with Invasion of Fiora. Or it can potentially kill an entire Planeswalker. You can remove loyalty counters. So, solid all around. Old Rutstein. I love this guy. I'm going to be sad when this guy rotates out. A Golgari staple at this point. One green, one black, and one. Not a lot of people were on him. One four. So he's pretty immune to being burned out very quickly. Then when he enters the battlefield, the beginning of upkeep, you mill a card. Basically, if you mill a land, you get a treasure. If you mill a creature, you get a 1-1 one, one green insect token. And if you mean a non-creature, non-land card, you get a blood token. You get the option of drawing a card. Uh, he helps ramp a little bit. Um... He puts stuff in your graveyard, and he helps kind of ramp. He helps kind of generate more mana. If you, I mean, you're throwing away mana, but next turn you could draw mana. So you have the potential of kind of ramping. You have the potential to put all these little uh, creatures and stuff like that, which are great for sacrificing for Gitrog as we go forward. So I really like Rudsteen in this one. He's actually came in handy. A lot of people don't like self-milling, but I don't really care. I, I think he comes in really handy. Um, <clears throat> King Darien. Now... We are having some tokens. It's not a token deck, but they have some, some tokens. We don't really need the soldier effect that he has, which is the put a 1-1 one, one counter and create a white soldier. We do like all other creatures get plus 1, plus 1. That's pretty solid for a 1 white, 1 green, and 1 2, 3 drop right there in Selesnya. And when we get our, our going, when we get our creature token going, our legendary creature tokens going... um. Being able to protect from a full board wipe when we put him down is pretty aggressive, too. So he just charges everybody up. Again, we're just trying to throw the best legends in the game in here and just stack the box. Uh, here goes Mirror Box. And now, I don't know if I want Mirror Box yet. I might want Invasion of Fiora instead, as I said. I'm kind of in between. Now, what Mirror Box does, not a lot of people run it now. The legendary rule doesn't apply to each permanent you control. So you could actually have two King Darrens out, uh, out right now if you had it, meaning that they don't die. Uh, each legendary creature you control gets one. Each non-token legendary creature you you uh, get is plus one for each other one. So if you have two King Tarians, they each get plus one, and every other legendary creature, which is basically everything but let us Armor Scrap Gorger gets plus one. This is solid, but combining it with Ratadrabic, uh, I don't know if it's necessary. So that's the kind of the question. I was kind of hesitating between Mirror Box. I want to talk Fiora. Uh, Fiora is also the option of two black and four. This is the late game wipe here. Um, when Fiora enters the battlefield, destroy all legendary creatures or non-legendary or both. You do get the option of both. So Fiora could go both on that right there. And if they're running regular and you just have legendaries, if you destroy all non-legendaries, you might be able to swing in for an absolute kill there. You could also get Marchesa, Resolute Monarch, which is a menace death touch when she attacks. Remove all counters from one target permanent which, of course, will kill some stuff. At the beginning of combat, if you haven't been able to the commons in your last turn, you draw a card and you lose one life. Uh, really interesting stuff here. She's pretty solid. So that kind of late game right, if things are building up that you can kind of customize, might be a better choice than Mirror Box, but I'll let you decide. 
Mondrak Glory Dominus. If we make a token, make two of those tokens instead. Of course, we can sacrifice other artifacts and their creatures to put indestructible, two white and two legendary creature Phyrexian Horror. Why do we want her? Um or it, or whatever it is, is because Radadravik of Urborg. Of course, we're going to be running the legendary uh, Radadravik here. One black, one white, and two. <clears throat> Why, these two go together, uh, you know, the peanut butter and chocolate here. Uh, legendary wizard zombie, uh, legendary creature zombie wizard, three, three, vigilance, ward two. Other zombies you control have vigilance. By the way, Glizza is a zombie, so she will get vigilance no matter what. Uh, good synergy there. Uh, and then whenever another legendary creature you control dies, create a token that's a copy of that creature, except it's not legendary and it's a 2-2 black zombie in addition to its other type. So if it's a zombie, it has vigilance, meaning that if you have Bondrak out, you create two copies of whatever just died. So if they kill your Glizza, Sunslayer, you create two 2-2 two, two Glizzas that are exactly the same and non-legendary um, coming out with Mondrak and the Radadrabbit combo. Vicious, vicious stuff here. Um basically you know if they're running removal or running destruction it can absolutely be terrible terrible for them to do that and that's one of those things when you have ls core out too it's like if they run board wipes they're running depopulate or something everybody comes back two versions of them might even come back and they lose life for each one loss so you're talking about just removal starts becoming completely ineffective as it goes we have drawn and linvala here i wanted to throw them in because i like them i want to play them if we're talking about locking out things we're talking about control this is one of those things that really aggravates people one black two white and one i love drama and i love linvala love to see them together um i ship it absolutely i ship it legendary creature vampire angel flying uh, vigilance activated abilities of your, uh, of your creatures your opponent's controls can't be activated that is terrible guys all the new praetors if they have a if they're trying to run a praetor uh they're trying to run like elish norn or they're trying to run like ginger taxes or something any activated ability is turned off it's just shut off they can't do it anymore it's done they can't if their whole thing relies around flipping elish norn to the argent etchings they can't it can't be done uh and then they have we get uh the the vampire and the angel get all the activated abilities of the creatures they control and we can spend any mana of their activated abilities so ridiculously powerful any creature ability not just praetors but any creature abilities that they have are shut off and we get them yikes and a 3-4 flying, really nice there. Uh, really good card. I'm going to be using that more often. Finally, we're going to uh, have Talia and the Gitrog monster, the quote-unquote commander of this deck, the reason we're doing it. Abzan color, green, black, white, 1-4-4, four, four, first strike, death touch. You may play an additional land on each of your turns. Very nice. Uh, creatures and non-basic lands your opponent's controls enter tapped. Extremely nice. Again, slowing them down. If you combine Talia with Drana, you're really starting to slow the opponent down, really tapping, uh, just affecting them in a, in a way. And then, of course, whenever Talia and Gitrog Monster attack, sacrifice a creature land, then draw a card. Uh, we will cycle through a lot of lands there like that. However, I don't really care. Um, we don't care about sacrificing. We actually want sacrifice outlets because if we have Radadrabic, uh, we'll just get that creature back in the version of a zombie. So Talia and Gitrog could be a great blocker too because of that first strike and death touch, just like Glizza. Uh, but if we really do need to attack, we'll have sacrifice fodder for them. We could even sacrifice the little bugs we get from old Rutstein, which is nice too. And why not? We threw one Galta and Marvin in there if we're not done with the vampire uh, thing. Two white, two green, and three legendary creature dinosaur vampire. Uh, you know whether or not they're going to win or lose the game, whether or not they have immediate removal. Because if you play this and it goes to their turn, they don't have removal. I mean, come on. It's a 12-12 trample attacking. Whenever you attack, choose one. Create target a tapped and attacking dinosaur green creature with trample where X is the greatest power. So if I attack with Galt and Marvin, I will basically get a 12-12 uh, dinosaur creature. Or if we're going wide, either we're going tall, we're going wide. If we can borrow some... Uh, are some rts stuff here uh x vampire tokens with with lifelink where x is the number of other attacking creatures um so if we're going attacking with like five creatures we get five vampires or we just get a huge dinosaur swinging in with galta and marvin on there really cool stuff edge ganj go of course that depends on legendaries um it makes it cheaper. Takanuma makes it cheaper. Boseju makes it cheaper. We got one of those. Two planes, two swamps, uh, one forest. Caves of Coilo, Shattered Sanctum, Death Cap. 
you're going to have to want to build this. I, I really did a lot of adjusting on the on the mana base. You're going to want to adjust that how you want. Plaza of Heroes is going to be the main one that you're going to want to invest in because that's going to smooth out your lands and your hands right there. We have the Get... I think that's the Get Wrong. Is that the Get Wrong monster there? I'm pretty sure it is. Anyways, it's a big evil frog. 26 creatures all over. A lot of Phyrexians. A decent amount of zombies. A decent amount of vampires and zombies. Um... Seven instants, two artifacts, 25 lands altogether. We are going to need to fix the land base. Really mostly with black, a little bit of of a little bit of white, and just a touch of green right there. Mostly black, a little of what? So one, two, and three. 29 altogether with a few mana rocks. We should be able to survive right there. That's what we're looking at. Uh, again, the alternate versions, uh, Invasion of Fiora, and maybe some alternate white removal in case you want. But that's what we're looking at there. Really, two, three, and four is where we live uh, for the terms of the curve of this one, two, three, and four is really where we're effective right there. Galta and Marvin coming in at the high end right there. Comment, what do you think? How do you like Abzan? Have you had any fun with uh, the Gitrog monster yet? Here we go. Make sure to like the video. We're going to get into some diamond gameplay. Finally made it to diamond. Been a slow grind, but here we go. Nox Mortars. <clears throat> Abaddon. Oh, you'll show the Imperium one day, Abaddon, I'm sure. <coughs> Alright, let's do that. Irma Script Gurger Kaber. Um might actually have a chance against this guy here. Let's do that. Ermert Script Gurger. Erberder. Hey, buggy man, 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 buggy Da, 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 da. Invasion of Asgol. Sacrifices a creature and loses one life. Earth Scrub Gurger, Kernberg, uh, Red Gerber, Erberg, Kerr, Splur. Getting jumped by a, by a water slide at, at Commander Fest? I didn't hear the water slide story. I didn't hear the water slide story yet either, man. That's pretty good. What's he gonna do here? Uh... Yes, Discord, it's right there. Did I want to give a shout out? Did we shout out the numbest of skulls? Jin Jitaxis. So the funny thing is, is that. He literally cannot activate Jinja Taxis. And even if he kills Dran and Linvala, he still can't because it comes back as a token. So no matter what he does, he can't he can't activate it. He's locked out of that. Forever. He gets this, he gets his Ash Zombie, but I mean. That's that's not gonna help. Yeah, no no gin jitaxis. Jitaxis brand gin, I also call it. The smoothest gin. This side of Phyrexia. My turn. I've been living in a mirror shaped box. Will you turn black? Hey. 
I got a new complaint. Load up on guns and bring your friends. The Dicker Derbs, the Gerber. Er, the Dicker Derbs. Load up on guns, bring your friends. Hello, 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 hello. Hello, 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 hello. With the lights out, it's less dangerous. Here we are now. Entertain us. I feel stupid and contagious. Here we are now. Entertain us. Hello, hello. Hello, hello. That sucks, man. Uh, let's get that reward. Let's slot this ball. All right. Uh, yeah, we do. Gloomfoot Mangler. Okay. Invasion of Eldraine. All right, we got the alternate version of that. Invasion of Fiora, Yargal, Ayara, Shieldred. Okay. Pretty good at cosmetics. Let's go to the store. Uh, packs. Those. Oh. Um, oh, I got a golden pack too. Look at that. Let's open that up. Drown and Linvala. Wow. And the gold boy. Ooh, an Italia Tyrannix, a Deep Pump, and a Ren and Realm Breaker. Not bad. Not bad. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious. I'm gonna I'm gonna keep pushing Abzan Legend. I'm kind of curious as to what happens. Danny Voy, I like the cut of your jib, sir. I go first, no green, but I think I can get away with it. Let's put down a white. All right, that vindicated flame stoker. So I can play the green off of Plaza for Sun Slayer. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's swing in. Do the damage. Now, if we put an edgy, edgy Ganjgo boy right there, we put down a Drano and Vala. Draw a card and lose one. All right. There's Tally and the Gitlock, Gitrog monster. Git while the Gittin's good. The Celestis. Oppo, hungry for more. That's actually going to first strike, so he's not going to take any. Oh, look at that. All right. We'll get while the Gitrog is good. He's out of there. He's out of there. Um. Let's 
Yeah, Sheldred late game when you have no mana left. I mean, no life left is Sheldred will kill you real quick. Wow, that's a fucking bad hand. Holy shit. Oh my god, that's awful. Oh my, oh. I'm, I'm, I'm like stunned from that. Keep six, let's toss a rat it. Yeah, Vigilant Geese is a very good combo there. Oh, this guy has a super creative deck of uh, um, Selesnya Legends. I mean, Selesnya Enchantments. That's pretty cool, right? I think he probably just has this in here for card draw. Weaver Harmony, very nice. Let's see if we put some Exile out. No, it's Junkai Naturalist, very good. Okay, very nice. Radadrabic Urborg, Recur. Comes back as a zombie. Glissa doing work here. Okay. Destroy evil. Very nice. Guess what? Comes back as a zombie. As all things should. Yeah, he just realized what Radadravic does. My man just realized what Radadravic does. He literally just figured it out. He read the card for the first time. And now he's debating whether or not he should continue. A seven zombie army couldn't hold me back. First time I got Galt on the board, didn't really get to do much with him, but there you go. Well, that guy learned what Radadrabic does, which is funny. It's funny for me.
Alice Kaur is a woman, believe it or not. It kind of doesn't really matter when you're a Phyrexian, but... Uh, we'll keep that. Uh, oof. Let's do... You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that. Armored script Gurger, Kapur. Er. No ramp for you, man. I know you're trying to run John on me here. Wabango. Radadrabic. Auto pay. No attacks. Fight Riggin. Oh, he's immediately going to get some big out here. Good combo. He's a Sunslayer. Very nice. Fight Riggin again. Lovely. <clears throat> Very nice. No attacks. Bosanjo, he who wheels. He who wheels, yes, sir. Okay, first block is going to be and then second block is going to be Tide Harvester, good combo there.
Yeah. Let's do that. We gotta get rid of that shell dread, unfortunately. This guy hit fucking absolute fucking applesauce here. What if Radadrabic makes copies of the legendaries out of the graveyard? I don't believe it makes copies out of the graveyard. My turn. Drawn on Linvala. Tracks out. You don't need that. You don't need that. All right. So now we have Mondrak being indestructible. Pop, pop. There you go. All right. Attracts is out of the graveyard. The fourth, the fourth fight rigging. Oh my god. My man hit the fourth fight rigging. If my, my dude attacks, he's going to die off the fucking, off the life loss from, from Radadrab. <laughs> oh, my man's done. Okay, so we block that with that. Uh, we block those with those. We block that with that. And we block. So that's gotta die, that's gotta die, that's gonna kill him. token creature so we're gonna do this boom 
boom. That made no sense. It it did not have to make sense. It was utter. It was literally senseless. It it did not make a lick of sense at all why that happened, but it happened. All right. Must have brushed it. I there was no reason for me to mute the mic. Yeah, if you don't hear from me in like one minute. Oh, and the whole game crashed. The game crashed again. We have been getting nothing but game crashes. Uh, I'll, t I'll keep it. Blue. Again, no early removals. He's got immediate bounce in his hand. No matter what I play, he's going to push it back. He got he got pretty perfect here. He's just going to bounce it back. For that one. Pop. Okay, we do that. We do. Can't do her. We gotta do Ratadravic Herber. Swing that in. Hey, what's up, Supernova? Oh, no problem. Listen, Saints fed, no problem, man. I'm, I'm happy you're back, dude. Always good to see you. Draw a card for each. Oh, wow, flow of knowledge. Jeez, that's a big card right there. It's a big play. Supernova in the sky. Someday you will find me caught beneath the landslide in the champagne supernova in the sky. Someday you will find me. You've been watching the videos or just uh or just haven't been able to do that either? I've been putting them out at a steady rate. Steady rate. Fading hope on that one.
counter spell. Okay. So he would need two instants or sorceries to get where he needs to go here. Nope. We will put down can't get us out nope he's got he lost it he lost it ladies and gentlemen hit he lost it bum, bum, bum. there we go there we go okay back in action there very nice All right, a little bit of up, a little bit of down. Overall, interesting. I didn't get to play Gitrog as much as I wanted to. I didn't get to hit the GitHub. That crazy. Um, Tally and GitHub. But potential. Struggled a little bit against control because there's a lot of control right now. But all, all in all, I see potential here. Um, the best mono blue is a dead mono, mono blue. You said it, Mar. Um, but we're going to leave that one right there. So until next time, guys, I've been Jay Villain, and you've been great. Bye-bye.